And welcome back, this is Bobby Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I am joined as always by my trusty squad of Luke, Nova, and Bro. Gordon is along for the ride with us today. When we last left off, I just rescued Hilda and Sid, and now it's time to try to make our escape from the Dreadnought. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's, it's just the way we came, right? Back to the first floor? I mean, the stairs are right there. Right there. Back on the first floor. I mean... You know what? I think we need to destroy this thing. We can't just leave it now. Yeah, you can't actually leave the Dreadnought anyways. Yeah, see look, there's a guy there guarding it. You, you, you can't leave. So you might as well destroy it! So we find more stairs down here in the corner. Doesn't seem to be anywhere we could go on this floor, except for the one way. So let's take that one way. Continuing west, I don't know why all those guys are dancing down there, but they seem to be have fun doing, seem to be having fun at least, so whatever. Alright, through this door we go. And now we're down on the fourth floor. Same rules as before, don't talk to anybody here. Let them dance in peace. Go all the way east, and then all the way to the north. Oh. Oh, this... this... Hold on for one second. Okay, so, in this last... Uh, the first treasure chest here, the, the furthest one on the left, we do find a trident that's going to be an upgraded spear for Bro. I'm going to put that on his right hand and the axe on his left for now. Um, yeah, that's gonna be my setup. Really? Okay, then over in this treasure chest we've got a mangosh, which is a dagger. I don't have a dagger user. And then we get the Titan's helm over here. I do believe... Ah, oh, screw the crescent. Uh, where's that missile sword? Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, it's got the power of a titan. It increases attack and defense. Okay, so then I don't want to put it on him. I want to put it on Bro. Alright, now it's time for you. Okay, I know what's inside you. And I'm scared. But I'm gonna do this anyways! It's the ice shield! But there's a monster. Can we defeat... The hill gigas. We do get a preemptive strike. That is awesome. First thing I'm going to do is cast blink and blind on him. I'm going to try to take out that warlock and I'm going to try to get a curse on the hill gigas. I don't know if any of that's going to work. Okay, I got two blinds. Not bad. And I got a curse. Awesome. Does a blind work as well? No. No blind. And that should be enough to take out the hill the, the, the warlock. That that is good. That is good. Gonna cast blink once again. Try once again to get the blind. You attack and all you can do is attack as well. Oh, this this is where the status effects really come to play, and that's why. La look at that damage. That is insane. Now, if I didn't get that curse off, I wouldn't be able to do any of that damage. That's why I put the Ancient Sword on him. This is not an easy fight. Why doesn't that work? Okay. You know what? She can just attack. It has blind on it. Oh, what am I thinking? Alright, you guys all attack. You just keep casting Blink. It would help if you hit that. Oh my gosh. There we go. Start getting some damage. 15, but does it blind? It does not blind. Okay. Um, I need to I need to cure. Bottom line. Um, we're going to just attack again. Cure 3. It does spread out the, the healing though, so... Oh... See now, if you had a blind on as well... Come on, blind! No, still no blind on him. But down he goes! That's the hill, Gigas. He is not easy. Not easy at all. Magic up. Axe up. 
HP up, endurance up. We get the Titan's Helm. Plus that ice shield. Oh man, that is not an easy fight. I made it look a lot easier than it is. Let's let's do some healing up. Um, is that the strongest? Uh, no, screw the crescent. All right, Titan's Helm. Yeah, and then strongest for you. Uh, I know it's the strongest for you, and then, yeah, we can put him back on the crescent now. Good lord, that's not an easy fight. So, with that out of the way, we can head up this grand staircase in the middle here. And up these stairs leads us back to the third floor, which just leads us back down. This is the fifth floor. There's, there's, there's gonna be a lot of guards here, so I'm gonna drop a memo if I'll be right back. Okay, you want to go around here to fight some new enemies. These are hell divers. They dive from hell. I don't know what's beneath hell, but that's where they're diving to, I guess. They do quite a bit of damage, and I've already gotten status effects on them, so I'm pretty happy right now. And then this last one should go down. The first attack will wake him up, no matter what, if he's asleep. 200 gil. Strength increases, HP increases. Lots of fun. So you want to go down here. So you want to go through here, and down here, and over. I believe... No, not up there! It's a little bit further to the east. We go north, east, and north again. Yeah, it's like a puzzle room, isn't it? All the way up to the corner. Two buildings over. Then down. Oh, looks like we found a clear way now. There it is. The engine room. Yes. No, another fight. If you missed any of the treasure chests you saw me get here, you might want to go back and get them now. Just, just saying. Seems to be the Dreadnought's engine. We use the Sunfire on it. Burn! The Sunfire was thrown into the engine! The Dark Knight. I don't think you've won just yet. It's Batman! Brother, could it be you? We've got no time for that now. Let's catch Sid's airship! Yeah, luckily we don't have to fight our way out of this. Oh my gosh. This, this dungeon is quite the hard one. And you probably thought I was a little over level, didn't you? That's my tendency, but not this time. Not this time. Out of the airship we run the dreadnought. You know, Nova does have warp. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. And away we fly in our tiny rinky dink little airship that I am very grateful to have. Thank you, Sid. Wh where are we going? I, d I don't know. What? Did we just fly all the way? Where are you going? Is that Altair? We just flew all the way around the world. But what awaits us in Altair? We'll have to find out next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.